Hello, so the first bit of this video is for year three and year four and then when I say year three you can just stop the video and I'll go on to a bit that year four are going to do today as well. So this is building on what we did yesterday and today we're going to use exchanging and that means that you do need to remember today that 110 is the same as 10 of these. Okay, so if you're using counters really need to remember that although they look very similar it's 10 ones is 110 so if you're finding that a bit tricky when i'm saying that i would use base 10 for this because the stick of 10 you can see that the 10 ones make are the same as the 10 so i would get them out if you're finding that tricky as i'm saying that if you're not great use counters they are quicker to make at home because you can just write 10 and 1 on little bits of paper um, and we do only need to be able to do it with counters or base 10 in years three and four. So please don't feel you need to be able to do it without them. So what we're gonna do today is similar methods to yesterday. Year three, you're going to focus on what yesterday we were calling Ron's method, that method that Ron was using. And year three, sorry, year four even, you're, we're going to be doing both methods in the next step, okay? So what I'm going to do is turn the board and to show you this one. Are we there with the board? Yes. So what I'm going to start with is having a look at the calculation 42 divided by 3. So 42 divided by 3. 42 split into 3 groups. So what I've got is, first thing I need to do is just like yesterday, I need to make 42. So four tens and 42, one, two, three, four, and four, or, and sorry, two ones. So there's the number 42. And I need to split it into three groups. So one, two, three. Now, when we divide, we need to share equally. And I can't do that 110 into three groups. It's not going to fit so that I've got the same in each group. So I can have one in each group, that's fair, but that one isn't doing anything. You know, I can put it there, but then that's not fair here. It's not going to be the same in each group. So what I need to do is change that 10 for 10 ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to add these ten ones to my two ones that I had already over here and exchange it for this ten. So I now have all together four, six, eight, ten, twelve ones look. And I'm going to split these now into my three groups. So one two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So if I'm going to move the 10 now, so it tens and then ones, 42 divided by three is 10, one, two, three, 14. So 42 divided by three is 14. Okay, so you just need to remember to exchange. Now, year three, you can now pause the video and go and have a go at today's lesson. Year four, we are going to move on and have a go at using the other method as well to do the same sort of thing. Now, year four, you might want to pause the video and do the first few questions first that use this method and then come back and watch the rest for the next bit, if that works better for you. Or you can watch it all now and then go and do it, whichever one works best. So we're going to have a look here for at the question 96. So 96 divided by four equals something. And again, like yesterday, I'm going to start by drawing an array like this over here. So there we go. Multiplication sign. 
And again, I've got tens and ones, so I need to split my array into tens and ones. There we go. So I'm going to have tens here and ones here. So I have got 96, nine tens, which is 90, and six ones. And I'm dividing by four. So that goes over here. Let's check. You can see that. Yes. And then obviously, like yesterday, I need to split this into my four groups. So I've got one, two, three, four. There we go. One, two, three, four groups. And then I can make my 96 with my counters or base 10 if you are using base 10. So 96, 9 tens, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 6, 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 1. And as before, we start with the tens. So we divide the tens first between our group. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, and like before, I've got a leftover ten. Now I could put that in there, but as before, that's not fair. So I need to change that ten for 10 one. So take away that 10 and change it for 10 one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Change it for 10 ones and add it to the ones that I already had. So lay these out so I can see them. There we go. And then I'm going to divide my ones up between my four groups. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and it does fit equally, look. Same in each group, and I've got nothing left. And then, now I've done that, as before, I'm going to draw a part whole model. So, circle, circle circle and then draw the lines meeting up for each one. In this one I'm going to have the main calculation 96 divided by 4 equals this is going to be my tens one my tens one is 90 divided by 4 and over here we had 6 divided by four. So what we do when it's got a part whole model is 90 divided by four was the 10, sorry, it was 20. So I've got 20 in each group. And then I had 10 left over that I'm just going to write underneath here. And I'm going to do that as an arrow going over here. 10 add six is 16. So 16 divided by 4 is 4, as we can see here, in each group, which equals 4. 20 and 4 is when we put the 10s and the 1s together, I've got 24. 96 divided into 4 groups is 24 in each group, 20 and 4. Okay. So that is how you do today's method okay so year four have a go at both ones and again if there's hundreds involved it's just a case of an extra column so you're splitting it so they've got hundreds tens and ones and you need to remember that there are ten tens in each hundred if you need to exchange okay so have a go and as always you can always email me if you get stuck